So let's yes, go and let's get cooking. Yeah. So this is, what is this, sweet potato? It's a spiced, spiced cauliflower. cauliflower and sweet potato bake. Something super easy, something yeah. that I do like at the end of clinic and just put everything into a tray mm. and bung it in the oven. What so are the health benefits of this? Lots of colour, lots of fibre, lots of different ingredients like brassica. Um, we've got cauliflower and that's got anti-inflammatory. So brassica is a family of different vegetables um, that have uh, anti-inflammatory properties, right. including things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, really like, easy Never stuff to access. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're fantastic. So we're going to make a marinade really quickly. I'm using extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. and the juice of two limes. And we're actually going to use the skins of the limes as well. So okay. a lot of people throw these away, but this yeah. is full of flavour. And with vegetables, you actually concentrate concentrate these, these health-promoting chemicals in the skins of our food. So we're going to put these into our baking tray as well. All right. We're going to use turmeric, um, and that's, yes, it does have anti-inflammatory properties, and it is pretty well recognised now to have uh, some, some you know, interesting clinical research behind them, but we're using it for the earthiness, the, the colour, and there are lots of other spices as well, basil, rosemary, thyme, these are just as impressive as turmeric. We're going to be using um, some chilli. And, you know, if you're not a fan of chilli, you don't need to use chilli. You can use cumin, cumin seeds, or uh, even ground fennel. That would work as mm -hmm. well. And uh, some ginger. Now, I, I love using ginger. Again, it's a, it's a really interesting ingredient from a, a medical research point of view. Um, but again, flavour and going... Oh, I mean, it's, it's got anti-inflammatory properties. It's got some antiviral properties as well. We would use it as an anti-nausea agent for mm. um, pregnant ladies, and that's well recognised. Some there's some studies actually looking at how it compares to the medication that we can prescribe, but I'm not a fan of like using food like medicine. It's not as if like you have arthritis, therefore you need to have a bit of garlic and that will get rid of it. It's really about looking at the holistic perspective of the entire patient. The overall picture. And the overall picture, yeah, of which food is a very important part. So right? you're mixing that all up. Mixing so that all up, and this is going to go over our bake. So, um, Phil, would you mind chopping up some sweet potato for us? Would you be able to do that? Well, all right then. Okay. <laughs> and you're leaving the skins because, on. And we're leaving the skins because on. That's because that's got the good bit in it. That's got the fibre and stuff, yeah. So these, that's really important. I'm a really big fan of using different sorts of root vegetables, but using the skins as well, because this is where you get concentration of fibre and you're adding texture as well yeah. to your dish, right? That's great. Thank you very much. Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, that's well, enough. Yeah. Can't enough be the generation there, yeah. game, but that's all right. I think I'm past. <laughs> so um, we've just broken up some florets of cauliflower mm -hmm. as well and some shallots, but you can use red onion, white onion. That's absolutely Whatever's fine. Whatever's in that drawer in your fridge that exactly. you need to use yeah, up. Yeah, just use up. Yeah, it's, this is really something that I, I do fairly often, actually, with different ingredients. And you can modulate the different sorts of spices that we're using as well um, to, to suit your own taste. Um, and it's, it's, not, it's not particularly difficult. I would mix this with my hands, but as we're on TV, I you probably should shouldn't get it all over my, my shirt here. So. Fair enough. So you yeah. mix that all in, so it's all nicely coated. It's all so nicely coated. flavoured. Exactly, yeah. So we're just going to pop this into uh, the oven about 180 degrees centigrade. How long? For about 30, 35 okay. minutes. Mix it halfway through so, it's, um, uh, so you get a nice colour on the outside. And you want to add a little bit of seasoning to that as well. And what you're left with is like a nice crusting on the outside. Yeah. 